topping the news at this hour. A decades old Morrisville business is closing after a massive sinkhole put his property in jeopardy. Tyron Masters has been dealing with this growing problem now for years with no resolution. And that's where we find WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre and Jesse a hard day for this business. Absolutely. I saw the owner earlier today and folks have been stopping by throughout the day to say their goodbyes and you could just really see all of the emotions in the owner's face. Now people I spoke to say that it shouldn't have come to this. More should have been done to not only help but save this business and they say this is a tough loss for the community. Really sad, you know, just because of, of their service and, and they have a big heart and, and they love the people around here. and. And uh, it's just, it's a very sad time. A lot of the people that work here, they're my friends. And, um, you know, we've developed relationships over the years. Um, and it's just sad to see them, see them having to go through this. A cherished Morrisville business is saying goodbye, but not on its own terms. When you put everything that you have into a business, you know, for the last 28, 29 years, and to see it being taken away from you, for 28 years, Tire Masters has served the community, but now this giant and growing sinkhole inching closer to the building is forcing them out. Heavy rain caused the coal ash and metal pipe to collapse several years ago. Mayor Chris Carney says the responsibility has unfairly been placed on the owners and finding a resolution is a top priority. We wish it had been tackled a couple years ago. We think probably could have saved the building then and we probably saved that small business, but now we're more dealing with, uh, we have a sinkhole in the middle of our town that has, um, you know, it's leaking currently large amounts of water and, and, and the only thing it's gonna do is increase and it's now structurally made that building um, questionable. Because of pending litigation, the owners could not speak on the issue. However, the community speaking for them. It just seems like nobody's really tried to help them. And uh, I think that's the sad part. I mean, here you got somebody that's really giving good service to the community and, and uh, we're just kind of letting them go. Now, town leaders say that they will be looking through several solutions within the next couple of weeks and go with what makes sense, uh, protects public interest, but also takes care of the business owners who lost everything here. Live in Morrisville, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. Hate to hear it for the owners. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But looks like they were well loved there in the community. Yeah. Good All right. luck to